So good morning everybody and welcome to the latest part in this kitchen project. Um, you'll find me today in the loft most of the time uh, in this video doing all the wiring. Uh, and as you'll notice for a 50 year old, no more than that, 70 year old house, um, there's a lot of mess about wiring up there going all over the place, there's snakes everywhere. Um, and apart from me doing the uh, wiring up the down lights, I'm actually attempting to tidy up a bit and reroute the cables a little bit so they're a little bit neater. Um, now the uh, the owner is actually redoing the loft as well, so I'm having to leave more cable length than I would do normally because it's been boarded at a higher level, as you'll see in the video. Um, and once he's completed that, then I'm going to run the cables on the on the on the rafters and stuff. But you'll also notice making use of uh, cable runs as well, uh, cable tray as well uh, to help with this. Um, something you don't normally see in a domestic property, but this was a, an elegant, I think it was an elegant solution to the problem. Um, so what you'll see is not the end of the project on, on this particular video because it's going on for a while and there's a lot of work to do in this bungalow and basically until the owner has done his boarding in the loft I can't physically put the cables into the position that they are going to be in. This is the complication when you're working on a house that needs a, or it, it, what is turning into almost a complete rewire of this house. Um, it's occupied and it's, you know, when you're doing the, the rewire, you've got to make sure that certain parts of the house still work. So, unfortunately, you can't, it's not easy to actually do uh, what, you, what you would have to do, which is, you know, clipping these things to the boards and things. I've had to do this in a uh, slightly messy way than I would have liked. Um, but, rest assured, it will be done properly and there'll be future videos. Um, worrying about the other end of this bungalow at a, at a future date. Um, this is the penultimate episode. Um, tomorrow's will be dealing purely with all the testing. So I'll be doing all the dead testing uh, because obviously I've, you know, you'll see in this I've mucked about with a heck of a lot of the wiring in the house and it all needed to be tested and put on the, the IC uh, certificate. So you'll notice uh, all the de various dead tests that I've done. Um, you won't see the live test because they were done earlier and they don't need to be redone. So the ZE and all those sort of tests, they were already done. Anyway, I hope this will be of, uh, of some interest and uh, let's get to it. So, three spotlights have already been put in. One there, one, one's disappeared down there, one's over there. Uh, we've taken out the pendant light, which was there. Well, which was there. <coughs> so we have identified all the cables. So the switch, the switch line is well, that one. That's going off. Uh, I just took, nope, wrong one. This is the switch line. <coughs> yeah, this is the switch line. I've actually labelled it up. But there you go. That's the switch line. Um, as you can see, we're using the quick, quick connect ones. I'll put together something else and how that, how that all goes together uh, separately because that's um, not easy to do when you're holding a phone um, but anyway that's the cable going down to the switch that's into the switch port on that then we've got the two power lines that's the power going off that's the power going off to there then it goes to an outside light and then it carries on down behind me uh, this one heads off uh, down there to the other kitchen lights which are on a different switch and then that heads back we think that heads back to the consumer board that way uh, we believe but anyway so that's all connected up uh, prove that all works by hooking up one of the lights but what we're doing is that's the end of this particular lighting circuit so I've hooked that cable in I've hooked that into there it's a nice snap fit connectors on these lights which is nice just to move that out of the way uh, into there uh, I'm just going to loop another cable from that one over to that one and then the load will then come back into this um, leaving a lot of slack on the cables because as you can see it's been built up um, this will all be insulated down here and then that's all going to be built up um, intermittent hoods are going to be put on these lights there's five in total, three on this circuit, two on the other one. So that's what we're going to do. Um, like I say, I'll do a separate video on this clever little gadget that's saving a lot of time. 
Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing, just looping these in and then we'll load that up and then hopefully we'll be able to pair it up. After that, um, I've then got to join uh, a cable out to there which will run down into the corner over there then that will uh, power the cupboard lights in the kitchen. That's just so I'll show you this, that's all nicely in. I do like these snap connect, snap connectors. So that's all nicely in so that just snaps down into place. Done. Nice and neat. Put that down and we'll run that cable over to that one. There we go, so that's in. Let's turn that off a minute. There you go, so that's all into that last one. We'll just cut up shut that cover up and that one's done and then that line ready for so that cable that I've just done just that one now I'm gonna hook that up into the quick connect which is sitting under there now right that's all these lights all hooked up I know it looks like a dog's dinner but um, there's a very good reason for this we are getting all these wiring done and then like I say the, the owners boarding this all out and all these cables are actually he wants them all up on, uh, um, they'll all be up here and out of the way. So I'm having to leave more cable than I would do normally on this and everything. All the boxes and things will all be mounted properly. But uh, uh, that's for another day. We just want to get this wiring done and then we'll get it all mounted properly. Okay, we're just coming over to these lights now. I've got to run an extra cable um, down for the kitchen lights. I need to intercept the power cable for this, but I just wanted to show you this this isn't done right obviously there's no earth going to the lights that's fine but that's not right you shouldn't have that like that there should be a junction box there of some description and here's the other one and that's the cable cable cable's been damaged there um that's not really been done correctly either so i'm going to rewire these correctly they all go back to this junction box um that's the power feed cable from that's going around the house so I'm going to rewire those, um, get those correct, and then we'll run a cable, um, uh, run a cable down. Um, I'm not going to hook that up because I don't want that live at the moment. But that'll be the cable to go down to the kitchen cupboard lights. Okay, so there's the feed for the cabinet lighting. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually replace that Wago box with another one of those. And then we'll loop these two lights together. And then <coughs> that'll be that'll be it for today. I'm still waiting for the chin. Then we have those are the two loads to the lights which I'm removing. The far left cable is the power cable going back over to some more lights and the consumer board and that one, crikey, that one is the going down to the switch. So I'll get that all redone and then we can go from there. Here we go, let's just run this through. So here's this light, we've got a cable going to the second light over there, this is the load. That's running all along here, so we've got a quick connect Ooh. Ooh. fitted up. It's all set up to switch power and load. Um, had to fit a Wago box on this one because there isn't one of those black boxes there. So that's going into there. That's Wagoed into that, which is running over here, Oops. running over there. So it all now put back together, um, and then. We're going to add another one of these quick connects, that grey one in that box, so that we can connect the cabinet lighting down, but we won't do that until we've done the cabinet lighting, because I don't want that cable live while we're working on it. Right. Uh, mounting the, the tray work in the loft today. I didn't want to do any videoing this until I was absolutely sure that this was going to work and it is so I'll show you the solution that we've come up with so yeah, let's just put the tray up so we've got two in two screws in already so there's the first half of the tray a small tray going down there 
So the tray's coming up to here, it's ending there. Um, so I've cut this all off, this is all fired off nicely and there's no, there's no sharp edges on there. But the, um, I'm not using standoffs on this because it was going to stand off way, way too far. Um, and these supports here are going to be supporting um, sheets of MDF. Uh, so we can't get too close as this is about the height that we need to be. Um, so they've been directly mounted onto these beams. Um, so the screws I've found to do this, and they've worked really well, are these. So you might be able to see this um, clear plastic washer there screw in the middle of the washer and then there's a plastic cap that goes over the screw which protects the cable um, so hang on, let's see if I can get a, oh. right so that's the cap that fits over the screw and whoop it here. so there's the screw and I'll just do how do I do that Bear with me, it's not easy with the phone. There we go. So there it is. So, um, there's the thing. There we go. So, if I just put that on the screen. So, and that's what they are. And that's working really well. So, I've got two up just to get that all nice and level. I'll put the MDF back in a second just to make sure it is. Uh, we've got some adjustment we can do with that if we need to, to bring it up and down. Um, so we'll put another screw in there and then we're going to put screws in on this beam here, two there and two on that beam and then it stops there because of that cable that's running up the wall and then the tray will carry on past there. So we'll get on this, finish mounting that in, making sure that's level. If it's level I'll put the other screws in. Okay, that's the tray all installed all the way down. There's going to be an hour of a gap there because uh, of that cable coming up. And all the way down there. So, what we'll do next is we need to extend the ring final circuit, which is this wire here, which is very, very tight going at a diagonal line all the way over there. So we're going to cut that and I'm going to lay four metres of new cable into that tray um, to extend the ring final because um, we uh, can't have that so tall across there, that's ridiculous. So we're going to do that and then mount that in. Um, so I will go and get the 2.5mm cable, get that mounted into the tray and then we'll splice that in and then then we'll make all the lighting cable nice and neat. So we've mounted the new ring vinyl cable, as you can see we've used um, those uh, brackets, I can't remember what they're called now, brackets. So it's, uh, it's all metal brackets, as you can see this is all mounted up practically upside down. So it's all have to be suspended correctly so it's all metal clips it's all galvanized actually as well um, for suspending the cable for to avoid uh, uh, premature collapse I'm trying to think of my words today so that's all that 2.5 mm cable is all mounted into the tray and you'll notice down here it's actually poking out through one of those slots. Now those slots are absolutely perfectly smooth. So there's no sharp edges there whatsoever. So there's no need for grommets. At least I wasn't putting a grommet in there anyway. So that, that's not gonna that's not gonna cut that cable. Not a chance. So I've dipped a little bit loose there, so it's poking out the back. That cable's gonna be junctioned off to the ring final at that end. And as you can see it's poking out that end as well. Uh, so yeah, so that's all perfectly done. So that's all mounted up, so I just need to get the junction boxes at both ends, splice that ring final 
and then that's sorted. And then we can worry about how we're going to neatly do the lights. Okay, so we are done and sorted. So, top cable, ring final, bottom cable is the lighting circuit running all the way down the back there. A couple of junction boxes running down to the lights, which are there. Plenty of slack on the cables for the new boarding to go in. Uh, still some slack on the cables there. Junction boxes all attached and nice and neat. Again, like I say, we've got slack on the cables for the new boarding to go in. And like I say, slack on the cables down there, but at least it's now all out of the way. Ready for the boards to go in. So there you go, so that's the, all the practical stuff done at the moment, as I mean, much as I can get done anyway. Uh, there won't be any more done at uh, that property now until the spring. Um, the owner uh, runs his own business and he's quite busy at the moment, so um, he hasn't boarded out the, the loft space yet and until that's done I can't finish in the loft. So um, we've made it nice and tight. It's, what you've probably not seen at the end of that, it's tidier than it looked at the end of the video, much tidier. Um, yeah, so um, it's very difficult to see in the, uh, at the end of this video, you know, what the mess was when I was up there and how tidier it now looks. I'm not saying it's tidy, it's tidier. Um, so uh, it'll be interesting actually because this is one of the properties that my assessor is going to visit. So I'll be interested to see what he has to say about it. Um, so that will be interesting because he will be going up in the loft he will be seeing all this work um, so it would be interesting what he has to what comments he might have anyway so tomorrow's video is already edited it's all ready to go and I, that will be up at uh, 5 o'clock tomorrow Sunday and that will cover all the testing so we'll see you on the, the next one